Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at doing a bit of a remix. So where did this start out is uh, when I did this build, this thing finds build a week or so ago, uh, for these glass holders that interface with the pegboard, a viewer, Fernando Garcia, pointed out, hey, look at this, how this caliber is hanging here. Now, uh, I got these caliber holders off Thingiverse, and I did a video on these actually quite a while ago, but you notice this one is hanging a little bit crooked because unlike this one up here who has a thumb wheel, this guy doesn't. It's a cheaper version. So Fernando, uh, Fernando uh, mentioned, hey, I've whipped up... Uh, a version over here and sure enough he's done that and very nice looking one by the way and so he said hey Joe why don't you whip up a, a pegboard version and I thought hey this is kind of a pretty cool idea so I took on the challenge a little bit because what I had been working on is actually this it is a utility I've got this out on Thingiverse I'll ha also have the link below to this um, that creates peg boards as well as holes and or holes when I say holes really pegs which you can turn into holes in Tinkercad to punch out holes into objects to make them match um, peg boards and then you can use hooks to hold them on the peg board so anyways uh, what I've done is I've uh, gone ahead and I've used this to uh, export a peg board and so I'm going to jump over here into Tinkercad so I've already loaded the object uh, in here and uh, what I want to do is I want to also remove these holes though is the first thing I want to do so I've sort of did some some guesstimates at about three millimeters height and that seems to be about right because you can see the shading out here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to join this and boom we've got rid of the holes so that's a good thing now it really just becomes the simple means of joining these two pieces together if you will so I'm going to go ahead and kind of overlay the two and then what I'm going to do is do, um, do a center and I'm going to bring it to the bottom here and pretty much that's about it. And then I'm going, well, before I go there, I want to, I want to point one other thing out. I've raised it up a 0.2 millimeters above the, um, the height of the bed. So this is going to leave a little bit of an edge and, and I want to leave that little bit of an edge just to make sure that there isn't any type of compression because as we see here, we have this lip uh, that holds the calibers from falling forward. So I'm not sure how much pressure would be put on it or how tight this fit is without actually printing it first. So leaving it a little bit proud by 0.2 versus leaving it flat, I think I think will serve us well. Uh, and, and again, it'll kind of give an outline to it, which I kind of like also. Now, another piece is you might be saying here, Joe, why do you have two, isn't this a waste to have two sets of holes? Well, actually I thought about this a little bit. And what I'm concerned with is the hooks, if I put hooks here and here, this might impede the calibers or making it, you know, harder to put the calibers in. In other words, when you slide them in from the top down, they might hook on these hooks. So I went with two rows because I know I'll clear this enough because the caliber heads will go right in about this area and then drop down. So I'm pretty secure that this this will work out pretty good. Um, so I tell you what, we've now had, oh, we got to do one last thing. Sorry about that, folks. We got to join these together into one, and I'm going to change this to orange because I can see orange better than this magenta or pink color. And there we go. So we've now assembled it, and we now have a pegboard compatible uh, holder. Now this is kind of what's neat about this concept is again you can basically take any of these type of models that you find out on the Thingiverse, use uh, something like this and what I may also do is put some of these uh, rote sizes out on Thingiverse because Customizer seems to be having a problem with this code. So if you're not comfortable with uh, running um, OpenSCAD you can simply download the STLs of the various sizes uh, and they're basically a standard what I'm going to call a US pegboard size. So to tell you what, let's download this for printing. Let's go over, take a look at the take a look at it printing and we'll see you back at the bench and see how it turns out. Okay, here we are back at the bench and uh, here it is. So came out very good. I'll be running some time lapses and some stuff up in the corners and that kind of stuff so you can see it uh, print out and everything. Uh, but works out great so um, mounts in here I'll have some pictures up in the corner too uh, so this works out great and, and you notice most of these you know cheaper calibers are all the same they're just different 
you know, uh, so I've got Centec, I got Pittsburgh, so they're all the same and they, they fit in here just fine. So I'm real happy with this, uh, the way that this came out and, you know, thanks for Fernando to, call, you know, calling me out on this because uh, I'll have this up on Thingiverse too. I like this a lot. Um, I gotta do, I gotta uh, get some pads, uh, some of those scotch bright pads and clean this out a little bit more. But uh, the supports came out nice. I, I'm a little bit happy I raised this up. I was a little bit concerned I might run into a problem. Uh, the, t the fit is a little bit snug in here, so uh, it doesn't mean too much. I, I think I think it was just a good thing raising it up. I was concerned pushing it down uh, might make this a little too snug. Also, um, you know, I had mentioned in the design, also kind of look at, you know, how I place this. This is where I was a little bit concerned that the hooks might come in the way. So the hooks being in this top l level are, are, are really nice, don't get in the way at all. Um, and again, I think, you know, you could come up with using this idea, you could create a whole bunch of different modules for different types of things. And I think I'm actually going to do that. So you'll probably see stuff like this in a couple more videos at least. Um, because I think this is kind of cool how it all comes together. So anyways, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget, Swag Shop's going to be up over there. Subscribe button's going to be over there. Uh, let me know your comments below what you thought about this. Uh, was it helpful? Not? Mm, I'll talk to you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.